Hi everyone, it's a Frugal Tech Channel here and in this video we'll assemble the system that I have shown you previously. Now, I have got everything I need, the motherboard, the CPU, the SSD, the memory module, the heatsink and uh, the case, which has uh, already been emptied and uh, I have already installed the backplate so I could save some time. First things first, let's uh, install the CPU. Now, uh, we need first to... Okay, let me show you a little bit better. Okay. First of all, we need to remove the lid of this socket. So we just push down this lever and then to the left and there we go. We can gently lift it. Voila. Now, we can install our CPU into the socket, but we have to be careful because uh, we need to install it in a precise orientation. So, um, I'll let the camera focus on the CPU. Alright, uh, do you see this uh, little hole here and uh, here? Well, they have to be placed uh, to my left, so the CPU has to be mounted like so. Keep in mind that this uh, uh, 1151 socket is uh, uh, mounted in this position, so your experience might vary, but uh, you should also have a look at, uh, if you are not very sure how do you need to install your CPU, you can remove this uh, bit of uh, plastic, which uh, you will have to... Um, keep for uh, RMAs and uh, other stuff uh, if your motherboard happens to fail and look at this alright I should zoom in a little bit okay here you can see a triangle and uh, this is the position where the CPU triangle needs to be so this Wait a second, the camera refuses to operate, to cooperate. There you go. You can see a little golden triangle, a small golden triangle. All right, now you can see it perfectly. And it has to be uh, mounted like so. So, uh, again, we pull our cover up. We mount the CPU into our socket without using violence or... Uh, any kind of brute force and we check that it's not moving just uh, you know touching it with a finger nothing else nothing more then we close the lid and uh, we pull this lever down we have to apply some force to it but don't worry okay then now we pull to the left oh, wait a second here okay and there you go our CPU is correctly installed. Now, let's move to the RAM slots. I will install this SODIM in the RAM slot number one. Uh, it's uh, just like um, upgrading your uh, laptop RAM. So you just need to all right, push it gently into the slot like so. And then you can uh, push it a bit more firmly into it, but without uh, uh, using too much force. And then you push down gently but firmly until you hear a click. There you go. You check that the RAM is not uh, moving anymore. And there you go. You have installed your RAM slot. Now for the M.2 drive you have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, because uh, we, also need a, we also need some screws that uh, the motherboard uh, has got and uh, we should not ever ever lose them because they are really difficult to find these two screws here I don't know if you can see them maybe okay perfect these two screws here now let's have a look at the M.2 socket alright now we shall uh, um, use uh, our first screw and we shall install it where uh, the um, where uh, we can find the correct hole for our SSD. 
we just need to tighten this screw by hand not uh, we don't need any uh, specific tool then we install the SSD into our socket okay and there you go all right and then we pick a screwdriver normal uh, um, a normal screwdriver and uh, we just uh, screw the other screw in so our uh, M.2 SSD can all right can stand still on our motherboard okay now the unit is installed and the last thing we need to install is the CPU cooler as we have here now this cooler has got pre-applied thermal paste so I won't cover any uh, thermal paste uh, installation maybe I will uh, use um, another cooler in the future so I will probably make a video about it but whatever not right now uh, let's check first that uh, let's check first the orientation of the cooler that we prefer this particular uh, Intel stock cooler is not um, has not got any heat pipes or uh, uh, any powerful stuff that uh, could interfere with our motherboard components so I don't think there's, there should be any problem installing it okay uh, we should also be careful that uh, um, our fan connector has got um, has got uh, is not uh, so so far from the motherboard because uh, otherwise we could not uh, we could not plug it in and our fan could not operate so let me have a look here for a second okay i've checked and uh, i've noticed that everything is okay now i shall uh, um, put the cooler onto the cpu and then push okay no, first things first, I shall put the cooler onto the CPU. Uh, be careful because uh, this is a thermal paste and uh, you don't want it to uh, be um, spreaded around uh, on the CPU unevenly. So you should, uh, there you go, follow this, uh, oh, follow, wait a second, okay. Follow these four holes that you can find onto your motherboard. Now... Okay, one, two, three, and uh, and the four. Okay, and uh, after that, I should put some pressure on these pins. Okay, yeah, you can hear a click when you're doing it. It's totally fine. Now, um, what I prefer to do is uh, uh, putting the pressure on um, with a crossed order, so. Uh, the thermal paste can distribute an even e can distribute evenly pardon me and the uh, CPU is not uh, under much stress so one two okay three three I said three hmm. four okay one is missing hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Um, now uh, we can see flipping our motherboard that uh, as you can see here our cooler is correctly installed now I still have uh, uh, oh sorry for the mess I still have uh, some problems here because uh, as you can see it's not uh, okay it's not uh, Install correctly. Oh, there you go. See? Right now is okay. You just have to flip it and apply some force to it if you're not sure about it. Okay, two, three, and uh, the last one. There you go. Four. Oh, the phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. Just about time to receive an unwanted uh, phone call. Hang on a second. All right, back to our video. Now, 
we just need to install the CPU fan connector, which is there. Oh, okay, which is there. Um, there you go. Hmm. Bit of patience. Et voila! And uh, here is our system ready to be installed in our case. Okay, now, as I told you before, I have already prepared this case uh, by removing the old system. I also removed the power supply because my motherboard has uh, an internal power supply and I have already applied the backplate. I have also removed all the USB uh, headers and the microphone and the headphone headers because I won't need them and they are uh, and they were occupying quite a lot of space. So we just need to install our system on the case and to uh, you know connect so some some uh, cables that are left. Let's start by um, installing our motherboard onto uh, into our case now. Um, the camera is a bit uh, of focus slightly. Okay, no. Well, whatever. Okay, now it's good. Um, we just have to put it inside the case um, with a bit of caution because we do need the, the motherboard to align onto the back plate. Otherwise, uh, it will be quite impossible to use uh, all, all the rear connections. Okay, okay. Now, uh, be patient during this uh, stage and don't worry if you have to remove the motherboard and put it back into the case again. Because uh, this could actually happen many times and uh, it's not a very big deal. Now, as you can see, it's not correctly aligned. Let's do something about that. Right. Okay, that's perfect. But we still need to screw in the motherboard. Now, we have uh, uh, four screws because this is a Mini ITX board and it only needs four screws. Here, our screwdriver. Let's screw this uh, motherboard into place. We have uh, four holes uh, um, here, about here, here and there. And uh, now I shall screw the motherboard to the case and then we um, will just connect the, the remaining cables. Okay, uh, I'm using my cell phone to provide a bit of light here. Now, um, I've screwed uh, all the four screws into place and uh, right now I need to connect the uh, chassis header to our motherboard. Now, this particular motherboard didn't uh, offer uh, quite, a good a quite good explanation, so I have to do the old trial and error method, but uh, the thing that I the thing that I suggest you to do is do a little bit of trial and error and to connect the power switch, this uh, cable here, which allows your computer to boot up first and then later the other, the other uh, stuff. Now, uh, I shall connect the cable and then we shall close the case and then we will be okay. Okay, I found out the correct position. Uh, and right now I can close the case. And there you go, my system has been completely installed. Now I should uh, set up the BIOS and install the operating system, but uh, until then uh, we have to stop right now because we're reaching the 15 minute mark. So uh, we'll meet again in the next video and uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. From Frugal Tech Channel, this is all. Have a nice day. Bye bye guys.